Imagine yourself starting a new group project. You join the first team meeting and discover that everyone in the group speaks a different language. So how will this work? Open protocols in communication are designed to avoid this problem in your HVAC system. For a system to operate, all of its various parts need to communicate with the rest of the system using the same language. Everything from boilers to lights to electrical panels need to be linked up in communication with monitoring dashboards to give managers visibility and control. Simply put, if you design a system with equipment that does not use the same protocols, you will have a system that can't communicate. So what is a protocol? Protocols are accepted rules and standards that allow communication and data sharing between system automation equipment. Devices that share a given protocol can communicate easily with each other, but not necessarily with other protocols. Open protocols are easy and customer friendly. They can be accessed and used by anyone freely or by license, and their characteristics are published. Open protocols usually have backing from some combination of corporations, user groups, professional societies, and governments. Some of these are regional or global, each with their own set of specialization and capabilities that make them preferable in certain applications. Open protocols have the advantage of being supported by multiple manufacturers, software vendors, and install and service organizations. They support more widely available third-party software and offer active community groups for support, freeware, and leverage options. Proprietary protocols are owned and operated by a company and can only be used with other devices from that company that share the same set of communications. While these may have their own benefits for certain uses and applications, they can lead to problems because users are limited to using only products from one company. There are many HVAC protocols available across the board, each with their own specializations. The most widely known are BACnet, which is popular in building operations like HVAC, lighting, and physical security. LawnWorks, which is also popular in HVAC and lighting, and Modbus, which is the most widely used as an industrial protocol, but also popular in building, infrastructure, transportation, and energy applications. With so many different building automation systems to choose from, it may be difficult to decide which is best to suit your needs. Here are four considerations to help you make the right decision. Define needs and goals. Evaluate choices in the context of clearly stated business goals and budgets. Weigh your options. It is helpful to work with providers that offer a wide range of products and technology choices. This will improve the chances of finding the right solution for each facility. Choose distributed intelligence. Built-in intelligence is the process of separating large systems in subsystems and placing them into their own machines. Look for products that offer this to improve your network performance and reliability by eliminating bottlenecks that can result from having a single point of control. Adapt to a region. Different regions can have their own different standards and requirements. Regional considerations are usually available for each protocol. Once you've weighed these four considerations and researched the different protocols that best fit with your industry, you are now ready to begin working with your chosen HVAC protocol. For more HVAC protocol solutions and other tech tips, visit us at galco.com.